Hey guys, it's Sam. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Today's video is a first impression and I picked up the It Cosmetics CC Cream Full Coverage Foundation Matte and I really wanted to try it because I've heard so many good reviews and I wanted to do a little first impression for you guys. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there and if you want to know my thoughts and first impressions of the It Cosmetics CC Cream, then just keep on watching. So this is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream oil free and this is the matte version they have a like regular version um i do have oily skin i mean right now we're in winter and my skin has been extremely extremely dry so i decided to go for the matte because usually like that's the um the look that i go for usually with my foundations uh it says poreless finish full coverage cream plus anti-aging hydrating serum this has an spf of 40 and i'm trying to find like the claims it says uh, to use as your full coverage foundation, apply one to two pumps to clean skin using your favorite brush, your It Cosmetics brush, which it's so sad because I can't find my um, It Cosmetics uh, Love is a Foundation brush. I don't know where I left it. I misplaced it and I can't find it. And I'm so heartbroken because I fell in love with that brush and it legit like disappeared and I can't find it. So it says why why you'll love it. Develop with plastic surgeons, your skin but better CC cream, oil free matte with SPF 40 delivers color correcting full coverage anti-aging skincare and SPF 40 broad spectrum physical sunscreen, all with a poreless natural looking matte finish that lasts. This multitasking complexion perfection breakthrough instantly camouflages skin imperfections including dark spots without creasing or cracking and it is clinically tested to reduce shine and control oils up to 12 hours. So, I mean, one of the claims is going to um, control your oils for up to 12 hours, and that's actually really good. I usually wear my foundation or my makeup for about 7 to 8 hours, um, so that's, like, actually really good. Uh, it's also infused with charcoal to de detoxify colloid clay to absorb oil and tea tree extra extract to combat blemishes. Plus, an advanced anti-aging serum, serum made of hydrolyzed collagen... Collagen, 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 ESO, um, peptides, niacin, hyaluronic acid, vitamins, and antioxidants. You'll see powerful results instantly and more dramatic results over time. Uh, the key benefits deliver seven products in one. So it is a full coverage matte foundation. So, I mean, it is, so, okay, it's, it is labeled a foundation, not just a CC cream, because CC creams um, or BB creams tend to be a little bit more sheer, but this is actually, like, called a full coverage matte foundation which we'll see because um, as you can see I have a lot of redness here mainly on my cheeks and the apples on my cheeks so we'll see how much that covers um, it has SPF 40 it has a brightening color corrector uh, hydrating anti-aging serum poreless finish primer dark spot concealer and moisturizing day cream oh it has like integrated moisturizing day cream which is um, really good so those are the claims and then this um, Packaging, it has 1.08 US fla uh, fluid ounces. I got mine in the color light. They only have 12 shades. And I did notice that the majority of them have like a plain, plain. They have a pink undertone. Um, and I have more like a y'all, uh, well, I cannot talk today. I haven't filmed in so long that I'm not used to it anymore. I have a olive uh, yellow undertone. So I decided to go with the um, light, which... I mean, it looks a little bit darker, but I mean, I'm hoping that at least it matches and I just blend it down my neck. Um, but yeah, and then excuse my hair. I'm going to film like a little like my waves that I used to do on my hair and like couldn't find any of my headbands and anything. And like I'm using my Disney ears, which I don't know if you guys like get this, but I can't put it very near like my ear because it starts hurting. It starts giving me a headache and it's really annoying, but I needed something to like, you know, Take the hair off my face and i'm gonna use my beauty blender it's dirty i already washed it but i mean it's just stained and then it's like falling apart like look at this like it's falling apart um so like i said i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize even though it says that it has like moisturizing cream um that's just something that i do in my like routine when i prep my skin and i'm using my ultra repair um intense hydration for dry parched skin uh by first aid beauty and that's another sample. I went to Sephora and that's like the sample that um, I got. How you guys been? I mean, it's been a rough three months. First three months of the year. But um, it's been really good. 
I'm in a really happy place right now. I'm just really happy with how my life is going and like I'm working um, a lot on like bettering myself. Um, I've been going to the gym and I'm so like proud of myself. Um, I wasn't able to go all this week because I like pulled my back and I legit couldn't walk for the first like two days and it was the struggle. Ugh, it was horrible. I couldn't walk. So I took like a day off of work and I went to like a chiropractor because it was just like really, really, really painful. And this weekend I said I was like, you know what? Like I need to start like filming again. Like this is like my passion. Like I love YouTube. I love like I spend a lot of time watching YouTube videos and I was like, I love filming. Like why am I why did I even like I mean I know why I stopped, but you know, I was just like I need to get back to it. It has a pump, which is nice. And then it says one to two pumps. For you to get like a full um like full coverage foundation so i'm just gonna take my little fit me um powder and i'm gonna put one two mm. okay so that's how much for two pumps let's see how much how much like this lasts so i'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and i'm gonna like dot, dot it sorry if the like lightning change like right now I had to like adjust my lighting because it was just like not working so as you can see this is my side this side I already put like a little bit of foundation and the coverage is really really good I mean right now to the touch it's a little bit tacky it's like drying so I'm gonna use the rest of the foundation that I have there it's still with the second pump and it is a really I was going to say super thick, but it's a really thick foundation. Really, really thick. I don't need a lot of product on my forehead. Um, I don't have a lot of like troubled areas on my forehead. As you can see, my usually my troubled areas are my nose and the apples of my cheeks. Right here, I can still see a little bit, a little bit of my redness, but it's like nothing major. So I'm just going to put a little bit more there. Just a tiny bit. And then right here. But I mean, it covered my redness really, really, really nice. I can barely see any redness okay, so as first impressions I really 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 like this foundation it is extremely full coverage like it gives you like a really nice matte coverage I can definitely see a, just a tiny tiny bit of foundation a foundation of redness um, just right on this side actually just a little bit if I were to put a little bit more foundation it'll cover it up um, it's still a little bit tacky to the touch so I don't know if it like dries down because it's still a little bit like tacky i mean i usually like set my foundation so i mean that's not a problem for me but if you don't set your foundation and you're saying you're thinking oh because it's matte it's usually just gonna dry down um i would definitely set it that's what i'm gonna do today but i did use three pumps in total to cover my whole entire face and the pumps are really nice it like gives you a like good amount of product so i didn't waste any product which is really nice as well. So, I mean, as first impressions, like I said, I really, really, really like it. And just to see how everything blends on top of the foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of concealer. And this is the Shape Tape Concealer, and I have it in the color Light Sand. It blended perfect. I don't see any, like, the foundation's not moving underneath the concealer. The concealer's not, like, sticking to the foundation and like moving it around my concealer blended really nice on top of the foundation i didn't have any problems with like moving the foundation around with the concealer so i mean as far as first impressions i really 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 like the foundation the coverage um i really like that it did give me a full coverage i I usually stay away from CC creams actually because I've never this is the first time I've tried a CC cream and it actually really impressed me because I I mean it, it says full coverage foundation 
but CC creams, you know, sometimes it gives you like a little bit less. But I had heard a lot of good reviews about this. So I'm really glad that I picked this up and that I tried it because it has amazing coverage. I am super excited. Um, the only thing is that I didn't see a lot of um, like different shades of foundation. They only have 12 shades, like I said, and I would expect uh, because it's Cosmetics is a bigger brand. Um, to have a little bit more um, shades in their range. I'm hoping that throughout the day the um, foundation doesn't oxidize on me and like doesn't change like colors because it matches really really nice with my neck right now. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit darker but now with my concealer and everything it matches really really nice. I'm going to leave my actual like at the end of the day I'll write a little description as far as like how I liked um, throughout the day how it looked and also at the end of the day how the actual foundation hold up you know I'm gonna go run errands right now so I'm just gonna see how it performs throughout the day I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer set my face because I feel like it's gonna start creasing on me my concealer and I'll be right back so as you can see I finished my whole face I mean my base and everything went super nice um, my concealer blended perfectly on top of the foundation I was able to set my foundation because it was actually a little bit tacky if you guys don't set your foundation that should be okay if you guys like but it does stay a little bit tacky I waited a little bit and it's it was still tacky to the touch so I decided to just set my face and I mean currently it looks really really nice um, I can definitely see like the pore minimizing like I can barely see my pores I have bigger pores right right here in this area and I can definitely see like a difference once my face is like finished I can definitely see a difference and yeah I mean like I said my full thoughts at the end of the day are going to be linked down in the description box not linked but written I'm gonna write them down in the description box and yeah so if you want to know my thoughts at the end of the day to see like the wear test and everything please um, check out the description box below I'm gonna write down my little review at the end of the day but if you guys enjoyed this first impression don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there I know that I have been a little bit inconsistent but I am here I know I've said that a couple times but I am here to stay like this is like my passion and I love YouTube and I hope that you guys are ready to stay with me and you know let's go in this like, journey and see where this takes us this that sounded so cheesy um, not sure if I'm gonna leave it but if you guys did like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and yeah leave a comment down below if you guys actually try this or what is like your current favorite foundation and until then I'll see you guys on my next video bye